Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this uh, live session regarding weekly current affairs for the week April 1st to April 7th, 2019. Hope your preparation for the upcoming exams is going on well. So very good evening everyone. Yes. So shall we move on to the first question? Let's not waste our time. Let's move on to the first question of the day. Yes. Hope you can see my screen. The Reserve Bank of India celebrates its Dash Foundation Day on 1st April 2019. Hope you know about RBI, right? RBI was established in 1935 on 1st April, right? Through which act? Through RBI Act of 1934 when it was established in 1935 it was it its headquarters was in Kolkata right in 1937 this was moved to Mumbai permanently so it celebrates its from 35 onwards 84th foundation day in 2019 okay here. next when was earth our day 2019 observed so hope you know about earth our day this one hour generally it is from 8 30 to 9 30 like that or 8 to 9 we have to switch off the electrical appliances at least for one hour so that we contribute to the environment this is done by world wildlife fund okay so it was observed recently on 30th march 2019 next who was the author of the book gandhi the writer Gandhi the writer so it was written by Bhabani Bhattacharya he has written this book the Gandhi the writer next which village was tagged as the India's first carbon positive settlement recently what do you mean by carbon positive settlement so instead of releasing carbon dioxide it is observing carb or going for carbon sequestration carbon is observed absorbed more than it is released so that's why it is called as carbon positive settlement so that it doesn't contribute for greenhouse gases and global warming so it is pying in Manipur Which country was honored, which country honored Indian PM Narendra Modi with its highest civilian award, Zayed Medal? Zayed was the fourth founder of one of the countries. Which is that country? So it is United Arab Emirates has honored PM Modi with Zayed Medal earlier a seoul peace prize by south korea right philip kotler award okay these are some of the awards championship of the earth award these are some of the awards received by pm modi next what is the current repo rate as per rbi's first bi-monthly monetary policy of for the fiscal year 2020 so our by monetary policy is released for bi-monthly means for every two months so it is released by monetary policy committee it has six members headed by whom rba governor presently shakti kanta das so present repo rate is six percent the next question 
What is the revised GDP forecast for India by RBI for 2018-19? GDP forecast, earlier it has predicted 7.4%, now it has reduced to 7.2% for 2018-19 okay next what is the current reverse repo rate as per recent bi-monthly monetary policy so repo rate was six percent and reverse repo rate was generally it will be less than the repo rate it was 5.75 percent it is this rate at which rbi takes away money from the banks okay repo rate is at the rate at which banks take money from the rbi this is repo rate taking back government securities and opposite happens in case of reverse repo rate clear with this next what is the current crr as per this monetary policy cash reserve ratio out of total ndtl that is net demand and time liabilities that means total demand deposits and time or term deposits some percentage must be kept as cash with RBI so these banks has to keep it as a cash only in cash with RBI that's why it is called cash reserve ratio so it is it was it has remained same since many years 4% so total suppose it has 100 crores of total deposits 4 crores it has to keep as cash with RBI what is the current statutory liquidity ratio as per first bi-monthly monetary policy of fiscal year 20 so same out of total NDTL some percentage must be kept as cash gold and government securities within the banks itself So it is presently 19.25%. Next, what is the current marginal standing facility as per first bi-monthly monetary policy? What is MSF? It is a generally additional facility given to the banks. If they are not uh, satisfied with the repo rate funds, they can borrow additional funds through MSF. Generally, it will be more because you are asking more than the repo rate. Okay. And what is the current bank rate? So, bank rate is a rate at which the RBA lends to the banks so it is again 6.25 percent next what is the rank of india in fifa ranking 2019 fifa it is the football international football federation it is headquartered in Zurich of switzerland so it was india was ranked one not first right which team retained top spot in the latest fifa of world football rankings
yes it was belgium belgium has taken the first position and india has taken one not first position next which of the following company has acquired chatbot making startup named haptic for 700 crores Yes, it was acquired by Reliance Geo Digital. Prevention of Blindness Week is observed annually from Prevention of Blindness Week. It is observed from 1st to 7th April. When does India observe National Maritime Day? By Indian Navy, National Maritime Day. It is observed on 5th April. And what was the theme of it? Is the next question. So it is Indian Ocean and Ocean of Opportunities is the theme of 2019 National Maritime Day. Next, Indian Army has built the longest suspension bridge over Indus River in Leh on a record in a record of 40 days. Name the bridge. So what is the name of the bridge? It is Maitri. RBI has set the limits for ways and means advances for the first half of fiscal 2019 to dash. It is 75,000 crores. This much amount the government will take loans from the public that is called ways and means advances so RBA will act as mediator okay which bank has become the first lender to charge for unified payment interface use UPI right hope you know about UPI right we have UPI pin we use it for the bank uh, funds transfer right it was developed by NPCI National Payments Corporation of India so which is that bank it is Kotak Mahindra Bank has become the first lender to charge for UPI use which country has launched the world's first national 5G network So it is South Korea. South Korea's capital is Seoul and its currency is one. Same one is for also North Korea also, right? ADB Asian Development Bank has projected India's GDP as dash for the year 2019-20. So it has predicted 7.2 percentage GDP growth for India for 1920. Same RBI has predicted the same. Name the investment and wealth management platform of the mobile payments company which received SEBI approval for stock broking recently. To enter stock exchange, which of the following has got permission from SEBI? It is Paytm money okay Paytm money is the name full name is Paytm money okay 
who has been named a managing director of infrastructure leasing and financial services ILFS it is struggling with NPAs right so Uday Kotak is the president Vineet Nair is the vice president and MD named was CS Rajan next dash has approved the sale of mh 60r seahawk helicopters to india for 2.4 billion dollars yes it is usa next when is the International Mine Awareness Day observed? International Mine Awareness Day It is observed on 4th April What is the theme of International Mine Awareness Day observed on 4th April? So it is United Nations promotes SDGs safe ground and safe home is a theme Kandamal Haldi which recently got GI tag is produced in which of the following states Haldi means turmeric right so this type of turmeric Kandamal I think uh, Kandamal is a district in the same uh, state so which is that state It is Odisha is the right answer. Recently, E Road Turmeric has also got the GI tag, right? It is from Tamil Nadu. Who won the John Dirks Canada Gardner Global Health Awards? It was won by Vikram Patel for his contribution to health. Bolivia has joined International Solar Alliance which has secretariat in. So the question is where is the secretary of International Solar Alliance? It is in India in Gurugram of Haryana. Okay. India on 2nd April signed an agreement with NABCONS, that is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Consultancy Services. It is a group of NABARD for setting up the Agriculture Institute in which African country. Yes, what is the answer? It is Malawi is the right answer. Its capital is Lilongwe and currency is Kwacha. Next. Dash has unveiled checkpoint tip line to tackle fake news. So it is by WhatsApp. WhatsApp has launched its checkpoint tip line to tackle fake news who has resigned as the president of Algeria after so many years so it is Abdelaziz Bouteflika is the right answer what is the capital of Algeria it is Algiers and its currency is Dinar. India's first professional Coco League named Dash was launched recently. It 
So it is ultimate cocoa is the right answer. The third edition of Ozindex by bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and Royal Australian Navy began in Bith City. So it was held in Vishakapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Dash has partnered with Google to become the first Indian company to launch voice-based financial transactions. Voice-based financial transactions using artificial intelligence. So it is Reliance Mutual Fund. The GST collection for March 2019 recorded at Dash. So this is the highest collection since GST introduction in July 2017. It is 1.6 lakh crores. Four times it has crossed 1 lakh. Dash new imperial era beginning from May 1st 2019 will be called as the Riva. Really for 30 years there is an imperial era beginning in Japan. 1989 there was a king Akito now it is replaced by Naruhito his son in 2019 this era is called as Riva. Earlier it was Heisei. Now it is Riva. In which of the following sports does Saurav Gosal excel? He excels in squash. Right? Recently he has entered into top 10 rankings, Saurav Gosal belonging to Squash. Which team has won the ICC Test Championship maze for the third straight year? The Test Rankings, India has become this nation to get this recognition. Which of the following is to Vote through ballot papers in the Lok Sabha elections in 2019. It is set to vote. It should be set to vote. Generally it is not ballot papers. Now they have introduced EVMs only. The question should be largest people contesting in Lok Sabha 2019 which is that constituency it is Nizambad of Telangana now they are using EVMs the M3 type of EVMs are used for 185 candidates okay around 185 candidates are contesting in this Lok Sabha election 2019 which shipyard has become the first Indian shipyard to build and deliver 100 warships It is Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Kolkata is the right answer. Which comic character has become the first inductee of Comic Con Museum's Character Hall of Fame? It is Batman, the comic character Batman. Has entered into this museum's character hall of fame. When is the World Autism Awareness Day observed? It 
is observed on April 2nd. What is the theme of World Autism Awareness Day observed on 2nd April? So autism is a general disorder. It is assistive technologies and active participation. Kings 11 Punjab's Dash has claimed first hat trick of the IPL 2019 season. It is Sam Curran of Kings 11 Punjab has claimed this first hat trick of the IPL 2019 season. Who was appointed as the ICC's chief executive with immediate effect? That is International Cricket Council. Z quartered at Dubai. So it is Manu Sahni was appointed as the chief ICC's chief executive. ISRO's PSLV C45 has launched India's electronic intelligence satellite named DASH along with other foreign satellites on 1st April 2019. So what is the name of that electronic intelligence satellite which will be helping the to help armed forces in detecting the foreign uh, countries radars etc. So it is MESAT. MESAT is the right answer. So with this attitude, uh, next. Vijaya Bank, Dena Bank merged with Bank of Baroda. It is effective from. It is effective from 1st April 2019. So after this merger with Bank of Baroda, the Vijaya Bank and Dena Bank. So this entity has become Dash largest lender and Dash largest public sector bank in the country. So it is second largest public sector bank after SBI and third largest lender after SBI and ICICI. Okay. Who is the present MD and CEO of Bank of Baroda? It is headquartered in Vadodara of Gujarat. It is PS Jay Kumar is the right answer. Who has become the first female president of Slovakia? It is Jujana Kaputova is the right answer. Slovakia's capital is Bratislava and currency is Euro. I think next question is the same. Capital and currency of Slovakia. I just now seen capital is Bratislava and currency is Euro. Which team has won the Sultan Aslan Shah Cup 2019? So it is related to So it is related to hockey. So it was won by South Korea defeating India. Generally it is played in Malaysia. Okay. So South Korea has won this Sultan Aslan Shah Cup 2019 against India. Who has won the Miami Open tennis title? 2019 men's singles so it is Roger Federer so this is his one not first title right who has won the men's singles title 
at the Indian Open 2019 badminton tournament. So who has won? It is Victor Axelson. Next. Who has won the men's women's singles title at the Indian Open 2019? Badminton tournament. It is Rachnok Intanon. So men's singles, Victor Axelson. And women's singles, Rachnok Intanon. Which became the world's first district with 5G coverage which of the following has become the world's first district with 5G coverage earlier we have seen nation right South Korea this is district it is Shanghai's Hongku is the right answer Shanghai's Hongku has become the world's first district with 5G coverage. Rajasthan state has come into existence on 30th March of dash year. So it celebrates its foundation day on 30th March in 1949. 30th March 1949 it has got independence. Odisha Divas or Utkal Divas is observed on. So Odisha has got independence. It was separated from Bihar province in the year 1936. From Bihar. On 1st April. Okay. Pravasiya Bharatiya Samman Award was conferred upon recently on whom? So it was conferred upon Dr. Rajendra Kumar Joshi is the right answer. Who has won the Bahrain Grand Prix 2019? So it was won by Lewis Hamilton. So successfully we have completed around 60 plus questions. Yes. So I'll meet you at 7 p.m. with the monthly current affairs for March 2019. Right. So take a break and we'll, I'll meet at 7 p.m. Okay, bye.